Let us use this project which has all the basic settings of TypeScript and Node we need in our own demo project. It also has two dependencies, XRPL client to connect and interact with XRP ledger and XRPL account lib which is more of XRP ledger helper library. We will see how to use these libraries in our own projects in this course. So let's start by cloning it, cloning the rep repository. I already have an empty folder called XRPL labs. I'll do git clone this repository. Oh, which again created another folder. Let me get inside that. So these are the project files. And if you have ever worked with node, package.json has dependency listings, which we need to install before starting the project. So these are the project files. Let me open this in my Visual Studio code editor. Just drag and drop this. And let's check package.json file to make sure we have our dependencies. That is two libraries which we will be using in this course. This is TypeScript configuration settings. Its target is for ES6. The output, the compiled version will be present inside a folder called dist. It compiles all the files with .ts extension excluding the files present inside node.module. Now let's install the dependencies. We can either install the dependencies from external terminal by typing npm install or else we also have an integrated terminal inside Visual Studio Code Editor. Click on terminal and then new terminal. You can type the same command and install the dependencies. npm install. This installs all our dependencies and dependencies of our dependencies and it will be installed inside a folder called node underscore modules. So as you can see a folder by name node underscore modules appeared inside your projects folder. Now let's visit the main file of this project which is index.ts. At the top of this file, you can see our two libraries, XRPL client and XRPL account lib. And as we scroll through this page, some of the things look overwhelming. So let us select this, all these things and delete. We will get there in a couple of videos. So as you might have observed, this is a TypeScript file because the file has an extension .ts. But Node doesn't care about file extensions as long as it understands the code. For example, console.log is a JavaScript syntax, so Node understands it. So I'll type hello world. And let's try to execute this. So the command is node space file name. So it just executes fine as long as the content is JavaScript. Now let's use import, which is not yet implemented in node so it doesn't understand import but it's typescript syntax so let's try to execute the same file and it throws some errors that it doesn't understand the keyword import so we can use typescript compiler to transpile this ts file into js file which node just understands better so for that we shall use typescript compiler which is TSC stands for TypeScript Compiler. So once you compile this, all the files with .ts extensions will be compiled and placed inside a folder called dist. But then there is a problem. Whenever you make changes to this file, we need to compile it once again. But to avoid that, we can just pass it a flag called a W, which means watch. So here is the compiled version. Okay, so whenever we make changes to our .ts file, this TSC, the TypeScript compiler keeps on watching and whenever we save this file, it automatically regenerates the compiled file inside our dist folder with the corresponding file name. In this case, we have index.ts, so the compiled file name is index.js. So now let's open another terminal. Make sure this TSC is running in one terminal and leave it to 
keep running and now let's type some some more code i'll just type console log and hello world so whenever you save this file remember typescript compiler compiles it so now i'll just use node and point the point it to the file inside dist folder so the file name is index you can just type index.js or just index anyhow node doesn't care about file extension as long as it understand the code inside it now it outputs the result without any error so this is the procedure we will follow throughout this course so we compile the typescript file using tsc and then run the javascript file present inside dist folder